Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and this is our Quilting Blocks channel. Now today we're going to be making a variation on the Susanna block. Really quick and easy block to make and I'll be taking you through making this block here. Now you can use this block for a number of things but you can see here I've used it to make a table runner. Now I won't be going through the instructions on making this table runner today but I will have the uh, cutting instructions on the website. So let's get started and show you how to make it. So what you need is one square at four and a half inches and then you'll need a contrasting fabric and you'll need eight of those at two and a half and another contrasting fabric at, and you'll want eight of those squares at two and a half as well. So the first thing we're going to do is take our first contrast and we're going to take a piece and lay it, up, line it up along the edges like that. And then now if you're a beginner you may want to draw a line across here just to help you with sewing this straight. But we're going to sew across here from this end to this end. And then we're also going to take another piece and do exactly the same thing on the other side. And again, we're going to sew from the corner to corner here. Now, once we've done that, we'll end up with a piece that looks like this. So you can see here, I've got my sewing line across. And then we're going to trim this. So I have my ruler here. And you're going to lay your ruler on, along here. I've got a quarter of an inch ruler here, which makes it really easy, but any ruler does. So I lay the quarter inch along the line that I've sewn and I'm going to cut that off. So there we are, we've trimmed that side. You can see I've got my quarter of an inch there. Turn it round and I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So I line that up along the seam line and trim it off. Now once I've done that, I'm going to open that like that and I'm going to give that a good press. So there you are, you can see that I've pressed that, got the seams pressed nicely. And now we're going to add another of the same contrasting fabric. And we're going to do exactly the same as we did with the first two squares, we're going to do with the next two. So we're going to line them up along the edges, and we're going to sew from here to here. And this one we're going to sew from here to here. Now once I've done that, you'll end up with a piece that looks like this. You can see here, here's my sewing line. And this is what it's going to look like. So now we need to trim this one. So I'll just get my ruler. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Line our quarter inch along the seam, seam line and we're going to cut, just trim that off. Turn it around. So now we have a square that looks like this. So I'll go and give that a press. So there we are, I have my centre square and it's all been pressed. So now we're going to do the side pieces. So I take one of my pieces of contrasting fabric and place it there. And one of the other contrast, place it here. And then we take the other side. And that's what that's going to look like. So what we do is we take these squares and we sew them together with a quarter inch square uh, seam. And the same on the side, so with a quarter inch seam. And what happens then is we end up with two pieces that look like this and they will be on either side of the square. So then what we do is we place this on here and we make sure that we line all our seams up nicely and we sew that with a quarter inch seam and we're going to do the same on this side. We'll sew it up here and we'll end up with a piece that looks like this. So just make sure you've got your contrasting pieces in the right order. So I'll just show you first how we've ironed this one. So you can see here the seams are ironed, are pressed facing to the outside of the square. Alright, so then we take our remaining pieces. So we've got contrast 2, contrast 1 and contrast 2. We lay them out like this and we do the same on the bottom. Only we have the two contrast 2's here, contrast 1, contrast 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew those together, one over the other, quarter inch seam, then I'll do the same with this end, sew them with a quarter inch seam, and then when they've both been sewn together, I'll place them together and make a row. And I'll do exactly the same on the bottom here. Sew them together with a quarter inch seam. And what I'll end up with, let's move that aside, are two pieces that look like this. Now, when you iron these, press the seams towards the inside, and press the centre seam flat and that'll make it really easy for when you come to join these pieces to your centre piece. 
Okay, you can see there that your seams will nest together. So I'll go ahead then and I'll do that and I'll sew that those onto here with a quarter inch seam, lining them up so that they're nice and neat. And there you are, it's all finished and they look lovely, I like this block. So don't forget there's all sorts of things you can make with this block and remember our table runner that I showed you at the beginning. We'll have the cutting instructions for this table runner on the website, it looks really nice. Now if you've enjoyed this tutorial give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and don't forget that the written instructions will be on the website.